Hello lovely people, welcome back to Parcel Creation video tutorial. In today's video, we are going to look at how to design a party flyer in Adobe Photoshop. A Valentine's Day party flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So, even if you are not good at Photoshop or you haven't used Photoshop before, you want to try to learn it, then follow me in this video. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process where you can design this nice and catchy flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So, without further ado, let's get into it so first of all ctrl plus n to create a new document so we are going to create an a4 size in adobe photoshop so with your document open go to print and then select a4 and click on create so maintain the settings over there click on create to open a new document so next from here we are going to try to develop the background okay so you can see how everything is well arranged and how beautiful this one is looking so if you want this psd file to release you some stress you my friend already know how to do check the links in the description below to get this psd file for my digital store okay so you see how everything is well arranged here so with here i'll go to my adjustment layers i'll select this one in the middle and i'll select a gradient from here then with a the gradient fill i'm going to open this one and I have a gradient here that I would like to use. So I'll select this one. So if you want to follow along with me, let me open the first top. And you are going to see the color code here. And then I'll open the second one also as well. So that you can see the second color code as well. So this is it. Then I'll click on this. And if you also want to save this gradient so you can use it later, click on this new here. It will be added to your switches so you can use it later. Click on OK. All right. So I don't want how this gradient is arranged. So I'm going to turn the angle. OK, so I want the gradient, the dark area to start from here all the way up here. And you can also click and drag in real time to move the gradient. OK, so I'll position it somewhere here. OK, so I think something like this is cool. And I will click on OK to accept changes. Then from here, I will start to add the information. Okay. So to start with, I'll go to my files. I have this already typed here. So I'll just copy in my test. Then I'll come and select my test tool over here. So this is it, this guy here. Then I will click on anywhere on my canvas. Make sure you have the test selected. And then I'm going to paste in. In other words, you have to type. So control to paste and i'll click on ok then from here i'll select anywhere on my canvas okay so i can move this guy around i would like to position it here and i'll also like to scale it up a bit click on this to accept changes you can also click on enter on your keyboard to accept changes okay then from here i'll also go up there select my next test and then i'm going to paste in that test as well so I can make a duplicate of this one. So to make the duplicate, hold down the Alt key and you click and drag over it. So you see that when you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard or Option key on the Mac, you see a white arrow join the black one. It means we can click and drag to make a duplicate. Click on T on your keyboard, just the T. Don't add any control to it. Then Control V to paste but before that you would like to highlight everything and paste again okay then for me i would like to reduce the size of this one so it is going to make it very readable like it will make it very easy to read and i'm going to make this one as big as possible or as big as i want it so something like this will be okay click on enter to accept changes as well then i'll click on control Oh, to fit everything to screen I can select both of my tests from here so you can see when I come to my layers panel I can select this and I can go to select up here select up here and I'll select all then I'll come here so when you're on the move to you can align this one to the center when you then go to select and then you deselect okay so let me move this one a bit down and you can see from the first one that we have this glow effect on this one to add that one is very easy so i'll select my test 
go to fx down here okay and then i will select outer glow so select that and the outer glow layer panel is going to open for us okay so with the outer glow this is the settings that we are going to use so make sure you have outer glow selected i'll change this one to normal and then i'll change the opacity to 100 percent okay and also the noise will be zero then with the color i'm going to use then with the color i'm going to use b20078 and i'll click on ok so make sure you copy the color code so you can follow along with me then under the technique i'll use softer and with the spread i'm going to go with 16 and with the size to i'll go with 29 or 30 so 29 and i'll click on ok so this is how you can add this nice gradient you can see over here to here okay so you can see the difference here and this one is not looking alike is because we haven't applied the background we will apply the second background later but if i bring this one here you see that it is now working so i hope you get the idea all right next with my layer selected okay make sure you have your layer selected and then right click on it and we are going to see copy layer style so i'll click on this one and i'll select the present layer style and then i'll paste the layer style okay so you see immediately you don't have to go to fx and apply a new outer glue we can just copy and paste that preset okay on it all right then from here i'm going to add this okay so i have this that i would like to add so i'll click and drag this one into photoshop and i'll move it all the way down like i will position it how i like it then i'll click on enter to accept changes and then from here i'll add a layer max onto this so with the layer max it is going to help me to erase some part that i don't want it to show so i'll select my brush tool okay so anytime you want to use the layer max it goes with the brush tool so select your brush tool and if your caps lock is on make sure you click on it to turn it on to turn it off and then we can blend this one from here otherwise if your caps lock is on it is going to be this plus and you don't know the size so just click on it to deactivate the caps lock and you are going to know the size of your brush if you want to also reduce the size you can use the left square bracket if you want to increase the size you can use the right square bracket then you can blend in this effect okay so when you're okay with it you leave it and also control t for free transform and reduce the size a bit make sure you move it all the way down just before the gradient that we applied okay and reduce the size okay so you just have to take your time to find in the small details if you want to get something nice at the end of the day so i'll just do this small small adjustment okay then with the help of my test tool before that i'll go to my notepad and copy my test Control c to copy then i will activate my test tool and i can paste in my test okay then from here i also like to change this font so i'll select this one and i have this font that i use so if you don't have the font you can go to the internet and you download that font as well so this is the font over here so you see the name anton okay so make sure you download that font if you want to follow along with me with the same font so i'll increase the size of the font to my satisfaction okay so i think something like this is okay and also i feel like reducing the size of this one a bit so select it let's reduce it a bit move it a bit up all right then from here i'll make a duplicate just like the first one and then i'll also replace that test okay Control t for free transform and i'll scale this one up so you can see that i just increase this one from here okay to match this one okay you know so that i want to throw more light on the party and fortunately for us 
we have this text that we can match so with that we can throw more light on this let me move this one close to this one then from here you can see that we added some gradient on this okay so let's go and do that now so with my party selected i'll go to effects then i'll apply a gradient overlay then with a gradient overlay make sure you have your gradient overlay selected i'll open that and then i'll apply a gradient overlay that's a red to a deep red to red and then i'll also add a new stroke on it and with a stroke i'll change the color to white and with a stroke i'll select outside from here and i'll go with a figure like 12 okay or you can also increase it the page if you feel like it is too small and also to make it blending more i'll add a drop shadow make sure if you click and drag over here you can move the shadow to anywhere you want to move it to and also you can reduce the distance if you feel it is too much so when you are okay with it you can click on enter to accept changes so i will do the same effect on this one as well so i will apply a gradient on this and with this gradient i'll open the gradient tab and then i'm going to select my preset one of my preset here okay so i want to apply something like this on it so i think i like this one i'll click on ok and then i'll make sure i have this one check okay and then i'll also add a drop shadow on this one so this one is also going to be pop okay so we can see what's going on actually then let's open the gradient overlay and also let me open so you can see the colors that i'm using i also like to push this one guy a bit so we see more of the yellows and this is the color code i'll be using here the same thing applies here so i'll increase this one i think somewhere where it is is okay so let me move it here and then this is the color code for this one as well and you add a drop shadow and boom you have this nice effect click on okay if you are okay with it and also click on ok to accept changes here as well then from here i'll go to my files and i'll click and drag this one into photoshop then i'll click on enter to accept changes i will reduce the size a bit let me undo so reduce the size a bit double click on it or click on enter to accept changes i'll bring it here make a duplicate and also bring that one as well here i'll reduce the size a bit then i'll make a duplicate from here so you already know how to make this duplicate holding down the alt key and then using your mouse to make a copy then from here i'll make sure this layer is on top so you see how i move it from the down so if you hold down the control plus shift and you add the right square bracket you can move it anywhere to the top and if you do the same thing with the the left square bracket you are going to move it down so again so control plus the shift key plus right square bracket you are going to move it all the way up okay then from here i will delete the effect so i'll click on this one and move it to the beam reduce the size a bit then i'll make a duplicate as well to this place so click and drag to make a duplicate i'll reduce the size okay and you can also notice this is the font that i'm using so let me reduce this one to regular and i'll change this one to hosted okay then with this one i have the test already here so copy and then let paste this one in okay so i'll also make this one a bit bigger and bring it closer okay so i can select both of them and manually move it to the center 
then let me reduce the size of this one a bit select all of them again and i can move this one like in degrees all right so from here i'll click on ctrl plus t to activate the free transform tool then hold on the shift key and you'll get this guy here okay so this guy will help you to move this one in degrees whilst you are holding down the shift key so click and drag and you see that it moves in degrees move this one all the way down here or position it where you like to position it and click on okay then also i would like to move this one a bit down okay then also i also like to make a duplicate of this one and you remember you made this one 15 degrees so hold activate the free transform by clicking on ctrl t and hold down the shift key and move this one back to 15 and click on ok and we have it back to normal size then from here i have this test here that i would like to copy and paste over there so activate the test to control v to paste then control plus a to select everything and align this one to the center okay next i'll move this one up and position it how i would like to make it okay then from here you see we are getting there okay so what we are going to do is to add the time the date and everything okay so with that one i'm going to make a duplicate of this one up here and also go back to my notes and copy this test as well paste the test okay and i'll move this one here and also make a duplicate of this one hold on the shift key let's rotate it as always and i'll move this guy here then make a copy of this and then i'm going to replace this one here okay so i'll do this for all the rest of the test and then i'll come back so we can conclude and leave here okay so position this one here this one here and let me reduce the size of this one a bit okay so you see how nice it is becoming so let's try to add the rest of the test and we will leave here okay so with this test i'm going to duplicate the layer style that we copied earlier and you remember we copied a layer style so let's paste the layer style again and you see photoshop still remembers that we copied the layer style so we can easily paste that let me increase the size a bit next up i will select my rectangle tool and i'm going to draw a rectangle just like this okay and with this one i don't want any fill color so i'll select no fill and then i'm going to increase the stroke number so let's go with 20 20 is too much so let's go with 10 i think 10 is also too much so i think let's set it at 7 and then with this one also we are going to paste the layer style as well so let's paste the layer style and boom this is what we are having and let's change the color to white and boom so this is so cute and nice then from here i will try to open this a bit because it is too close make a copy of this test then i'll go to my notes and copy all these okay and then i will place them here i will reduce the size of this and i'll select all of this one align this one to the center and also align this one to the center as well then i will paste the layer style on this one as well and boom you see what we are having this is so nice and great so you can see that for mine i have this dot dot inside here so if you also want to get the same effect you can make a duplicate of this and then you replace with a dot so you just type dot over there and all that you have to do is to take your time and bring this one to the center or close to this one and you duplicate this one to each of the names okay and with that you will have that effect that i have okay all right then the last thing that we are going to add is going to be this and that okay so to do this we have this 
shape here so we can make a duplicate of this one all the way here reduce the size and also we can make a duplicate of this test as well then let's copy and paste these guys there so paste the test and then i'm going to make this one very big Control A to select everything and align this one to the center. Okay. So then from here, you see that we added a gradient overlay here. So let's try to apply the same thing here. So with the shape selected, go to effect gradient overlay and let's apply a gradient overlay on this one. So we want something that will blend in with the background. So a red gradient won't be bad. Okay. Click on OK. Click on OK. Then we can add our test. So I'll quickly do that and come back soon. I'll reduce the size to fit the situation. And then I will increase the boldness okay so i'll choose bold for this and make sure it is aligned in the center then from here i'll make a duplicate of this one and then copy my new test and i will replace this one here so control v to replace and i'm going to rotate this one so rotate in this direction okay and position it somewhere here click on enter to accept changes and click on Control o okay so if you see from here we have everything in place like how we designed this one from scratch to this point okay and we have everything just like this one so the last thing that we are going to add is to go back all the way to the down select the gradient that we applied earlier and go to files click and drag this into photoshop okay and boom so i have already resized this one according to a4 size so you just have to drop that and boom we are going to have this nice effect see how amazing this is so at the end of the day this is what we have earlier and this is what we have tried to do so the last thing that i will do here is to add an adjustment layer called color balance okay so you can see the color is not all that consistent so i'll increase the reds and also reduce the yellow here so let's see before after before after to make this one balance a little bit okay so this is how you can design a valentine's day party flyer in photoshop please don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and share this video share share please and also, if you want to get this PhD file, you might friend already know to do. Check our digital store to support this channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, keep creating, never give up. Peace.